What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to That's Us Gaming. My name's Rob and this will be episode 17 of the Borderlands 2 Fresh Playthrough. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so Tundra Express and if I remember correctly, I think the mission we have to do next is your call the invited. But I think we, yeah, we gotta go and get it first. Just uh, familiarise myself with my guns again. Do I only have three slots? I'm guessing I did, yeah. No problem. Oh, so yeah, we've got to go and see Tiny Tina now. And she will give us a uh, a couple of missions to do in order to um, get a little tea party thing going off. So. Well, there is a chance of a legendary coming up, ladies and gents. It is the Baby Maker, which we... Could potentially get from Madame Von Bartlesby. It is a TDO SMG. And uh, like with all TDO SMGs, when you reload, you throw this one out. But the beauty of this one is, once you throw it out, it explodes and creates another two tiny little TDO SMGs, which then subsequ uh, subsequently explode themselves. So it's a great, great SMG. So hopefully, you never know, we might get it. I doubt it, but you never know. I shouldn't be uh I shouldn't be a defeatist. Well, not again. oh that was easy. Right, let's go and get these missions in. She's having a nap. Oh no, she's up. Hey, yo, I got stuff I need done okay, yeah, you are called invited party prep. Got a very important tea so yes, in this mission we got to go uh, and emancipate Sir Reginald, but that that uh, spawns Madame von Battlesby. So, oh by the way, by the way, she's a uh, she's a badass varkid, so. Quite tough to beat. And for some reason she can't be phase locked. She can be damaged by a phase lock. But you can't actually phase lock her. I will show you what I mean when we get get round to her. Right, we'll go this way. Oh, I sh really should have... Uh... There you go. I really should have sold all my, uh, all the stuff I didn't need out of my inventory. I didn't realise I had a full inventory. Never mind. Yeah, so once we emancipate Sir Reginald, we gotta go and get someone called Princess Fluffybutt. Which, I'll show you now, just out of, uh, Curiosity is by there. Although we can't get it yet, we gotta go and get to the original first, so I forget what grenade I had attached. Still using the skyrocket. Oh well. See if I can't pick up a Tesla along the way. Right, so uh, what guns have I got? Because I need to be... Salt. Let's look up this. For Madame Von Battlesby. Yeah, that should do. <laughs> this, this should be okay. So we'll go up and uh, activate her. We just do that by running around the corner here. We'll give her a phase lock and see if we can't take her down. She is. Oh, I, I do apologise. She can be phase lock, but it's very quick lock. The effect of the phase lock, for some reason, she breaks out of it very, very quickly. But there you go. That was. Uh, oh. A couple of adults have spawned. Never mind. As you can see, ladies and gents, unfortunately, 
we did not get a baby maker which is a shame because I really would have loved for you to have seen the uh, seen the effects of that weapon right so there is uh, Sir Reginald That's Reginald now I just need you to find Princess Fluffy butt and get me some scrap metal from the buzzard so you can make the oh yeah we gotta kill the buzzards here buzzards and Yeah, we've got to kill the buzzards. Sorry, I, my mind went back there. Got to kill the buzzards and get their parts. There's one of them. Got to get three parts from buzzards. And we've got to pick up some crumpets. Tina likes her crumpets. We'll get them. The trick is to try and, try and get these close to you. And like, this is perfect, see? Sometimes you can shoot them and they're quite far away. Oh, well, I guess that one just died for some reason. See, this patch dropped all the way down here now. How far down is it? Is that's not too bad. That's enough scrap metal to make a teapot. Yeah, that's okay. Shorty, you're the best. All right, so we'll do is come over here now, and there will be more uh, buzzards spawning, and there'll be a lot of enemies spawning around here. So. But with the uh, the addition of Cloud Kill, they're so easily taken care of. Right. Chance to get loot midgets out of these boxes and crates around this area. There's one. So there's a loot midget for you, ladies and gents. And um, <laughs> rather uncanny me saying that and then popping out. So they have a, a decent chance of dropping legendaries. As you can see, they didn't drop one there. I mean, he didn't drop one there, but, uh, yeah. Every now and then you'll get these, th they pop out of the boxes and, uh... Oh, I was shooting me. Oh, wait a minute. Shut up, pal. Bye-bye. See, as soon as that cloud kill kicks in, it's, it's good night, Vienna. There you go. As I said, it's only cloud... You can only have cloud kill on one person, so... There. Should be able to get it back to this guy now. There you go, dead. It's, it's pretty much instantaneous. Oh, we got buzzards. Right, well, I'll grab the crumpets, which are by here. Grab them quickly. Why's that guy shooting? Okay, doing rather damaged here, so just back off the time a little bit. Yeah, yeah we'll just back off a little bit and then we can kill him at a distance. Okay. So we got the crumpets, we got Sir Reginald. Just gotta get Princess Fluffy Bird. Can hear another enemy. Oh, hi, pal. Oh, you dropped a lot of stuff. Okay. Huh. It's amazing that um, I'm using such a. Sorry, ladies and gents, my headset cut out for a second there. As I was saying, it's amazing that I'm using such a low damage SMG in the form of that uh, fire SMG. Because of Cloud Kill, it's still so very effective. Anyway, we'll take care of these because they're only going to be pains in the asses otherwise. Oh, there should be one more. Uh, is he going to die? Yeah, he's going to die. There you go. Right, so. What we can do is try our luck for another... Oh, we got another one. Well, I'm calling these today, am I? <laughs> Legendary. Okay. 
To be honest with you, I'm quite surprised at that because you don't normally get more than one in this area. It, I mean, it does happen, as you can see, it's, it's just happened, but um, it is quite rare, so I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway, let's move along. Gotta go and get Sir. Uh, not Sir. Sorry, one mind about Princess Fluffy, but. Showed you earlier, she's just around this corner. Shield. Now it reduces health. Not interested. Okay, there she is. Just for every bird. Now we gotta go back. Give these to Tina. Check these on the way, hopefully hoping for some iridium. Always on the lookout for iridium. Yeah, so I was oh Man am I calling these things today. <laughs> Two loop midgets and uh and some iridium. Uh, but yeah, going back to those loot just I was quite surprised, as I said, to see two there, but here you go, you know. It's good, it would have only been better if there'd been a legendary out of one of them, but... With it being the first playthrough, it's, it's quite unlikely. If this had been two Vault Under mode, or, it, you know, even better, Ultimate Vault Under mode, then it would have been... You know, chances are they would have dropped something, but... Go and turn these in now. There you go, you can see highlighting in green is where we've got to sit them. One there. One there. Turn that one in. Hey, okay. Guest of Honor. Now we've got to go and get Flesh Stick. So, ladies and gents, with this bit now, we've got to go and get this guy Flesh Stick. But we've got to lure him to the party. We cannot. And to do that, you just kind of need to shoot near his feet and what have you to grab his attention. But you cannot kill him. For obvious reasons, you know, if you kill him, you fail the mission. But what I tend to do is come here, clear out all these enemies first. You'll get a load come out now. He says, there you go. Get rid of all these first. One over there. Don't want to throw a grenade in just yet, just in case Flesh Stick is there. I mean, we can't see him from this position, so... Just on the off chance that he's there, we're not going to, uh... Oh, we're letting the Nomad Torturers at the moment. One more over there. Okay, so... The box is not... Got cross in it, so we know that Flesh Stick is still alive. So I'm guessing he hasn't spawned yet. So here we go. He should come out there somewhere. Is. There he is. So what we need to do is grab his attention now. There you go. And then you want to start running back. Keeping him on your tail. Here you go, come with me. Every now and then he will stop, so you just uh, grab his attention again. Always best not to have a, uh... Nope. Oh, he's still alive. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. Right, so just bring him in here. Come on. There you go. And eventually, that thing will take hold of him. That was close, ladies and gents. That was close. So, got to turn this in now. I don't care which one. Well, there you go. I'll take that one. And we'll take that. Now, while I remember, let's sell all this. That one was worse, I remember now. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. On that. Oh, I've got too much stuff here. No. Alright, well, we'll keep it. We'll keep what we got. Let's just ammo up. 
Me lord of SMG I know. Right, so I turn that. And then basically what they're gonna do, that generator is just kicked up. Kicked in over there. So they're gonna send a load of enemies now to come and destroy the generator, so we just gotta basically stand by here, kill them as they come. Oh no, sorry, first things first. My bad. It's amazing how much I've played this game and I still forget the simplest of things. First things first. I'll punch him. Alright, so there you go. You can see the uh, the lifeline of the generator there in green. And then we've got to keep our three waves, so we just... Kill these before they have a chance to come and destroy it. Nice and easy. Go. Get them. Right, let's take these down these nomads. Should be another one. There you go. When this cloud kill kicks in, see, boom, done. There you go. There's wave one done. Here we go, wave two. They get a little bit harder now. Oh, where are you going? Oh, there you go. Plug off. Okay, should be another one here, look. There he is. Okay. Now they're going to send bigger and badder enemies. That's it. Just all run through the cloud hill. That would be fantastic. Uh, We'll take down the Goliath. Lovely stuff. And then, yeah, there'd be two badass marauders come out now. Hammer up. That's done. No, we'll just have him with a nade. Done. Lovely. Nice and quick. And then, for some reason, the third wave starts off with tiny little midgets. These little annoying buggers. Send a load of them. Goliaths. What we will have in a sec is a badass Goliath come out. Uh, not a badass Goliath, a blaster with the Elite Marauder. There he is. Oh, oh, I was right first. It was a badass Goliath. There you go. That's it. It's done. Let's just go and collect our little drops that they've uh, given us here. I'm just picking all this up to sell, to be honest, ladies and gents. I don't really, uh... Oh, I'm not fussed on it. I don't care about it, so... Sell this. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty. Okay, so that one, the one I've got is better. Already got that, so I can sell that, and the rest that's fine. So again, let's ammo up. Okay. Turn this in. Right now. When we turn this in, we're going to get a gun called the Teapot. Now, if you remember, in episode 1, I think it was, I got a gun called the Hornet, which was a corrosive pistol. The Teapot is very, very similar. But because it's later on in the game, it's much better, so... Invigorating. There it is. Ah, the hour a lovely gun. I'm afraid Mr. Flushstick must bid us adieu. I remember. And I've leveled up as well. Win-win. So, if you just check the stats... Yeah, you can see that the corrode damage per second is much higher. Uh, but the damage is not great. But because it's dial weapon, it has, you know, um, burst fire while zoomed in. So we're going to keep it because it's... Um, do that on that one then. We're going to keep it because it will be effective uh, at certain points of the game when we come across 
uh, loaders and stuff. So, let's go and spend the skill point. We want to put that into... Where do we want to put it? My mind's gone blank. Backdraft. Yes, backdraft. Yeah. There you go. Your melee attacks damage additional fire. Additionally, when your shields are depleted, you create a fire explosion. Yeah. I'll have to check that. I can't. I, do you know what? My mind's gone blank. I can't remember what I used to. I was expecting differently this time. Than I usually do. Anyway. Anyway. Not important. So. As you see, I don't think there's any other missions to do now except for to turn that one in. And then we lose Sanctuary. So. We will quickly do that. And then we'll end that. We'll end this episode there. But. First things first. Let me just make sure. Yeah, there is no other no exclamation marks there. We have done every mission so far. We're completely up to date with the game, so... Let's go and turn this last one in. Unless, of course, there's some... Actually, there might be a mission at Sanctuary to pick up. In fact, I think there's a way I can check. There is a way I can check when I get to the fast travel. So we'll have a quick look. Mm -mm. Oh, we won't bother checking the piles, we'll just get to the fast travel as quick as possible. And we'll worry about dealing with all those little bar kids down there. Oh look, there's another frozen creature again. If anyone knows what these things are, please, in the comment below. I don't know what they are. Right, so, we'll just quickly travel to f uh, Sanctuary. I will see you there. Okay. Nope. No missions to be picked up here. Scooter's in place. But just before we go, let's just check how many Iridium we got. We got 18 Iridium. There's a couple of things you, you could do at this point, ladies and gents. Just to get yourself ready for the next bit coming up. Let's check these. Make sure there's no Iridium in them. Okay. So what you've got to do now, ladies and gents, is you've got to come down here, go and see Lieutenant Davis again. You remember he's right at the very start, the very entrance to the sanctuary. Let's come over here, see him. Turn this into him. A new power core. Well, okay. As much as I hate cool down weight. Relic, so... Change the core. Okay, I think we're in bis... <laughs> what the hell? Hey, you know, I think it's finally time to tell you that little secret. Angel's working for me. Lowering Sanctuary's shields, Jack. Executing phase shift. Uh oh! I didn't see that come in. So yeah, the shields are down now. Sanctuary's unprotected. We gotta go and help out. Now, let's kill ourselves some vault hunters. What the hell? Did something just get through the shield? So we gotta get to screw over here. Then we gotta go over here and press a button on this column. Over 
here, press a button on this column. That guy just loves standing there doing that. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the second town. Right, so we've got to go and find Roland now and get some. Lost a, bit of, uh, lost a bit of my shield there. Uh, and get the iridium off Roland. Right, there you go. Just by holding X, picks up all of them in one go. Out here, get this back to uh, Lilith now. Lilith, I'll wait for her to ask for the Iridium. Come on, Lilith. Lilith, there you go. She doesn't have to take a time about it. There you go. So, that's a hurt. We go bye bye. Sanctuary's going bye bye. Sanctuary. So, you now got to travel through here. I know you're angry at me right now, but we don't. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gents. In the next episode, what we're going to be doing is trying to get Sanctuary back. Uh, but until then, uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, any comments, uh, sorry, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. And as always, feel free to subscribe. If you do, just go ahead and press that little bell icon and I'll keep you up to date with all the latest Latest Gaming videos. So, until the next video, have a good one. See you then, bye.